successfully created the GLs. Okay. And uh, let it be change the GL, change GL master. Uh, can you please note it on one note, everyone? Can you please note it on one note? Change GL. Otherwise, uh, let it be. It's not required. Uh, we'll tell later. Okay. So, everyone, change the GL master data. Same T code, everyone. FS00. Can you please confirm? Are you able to hear my voice? Are you able to see my screen? Is everything yes, fine? Sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. <clears throat> so, everyone, same path actually. SAP menu, accounting, financial accounting, like general ledger, master records, and GL accounts, individual processing, and central. So, it's the same path. Now I'm in SAP Easy Access screen, SAP menu, accounting, financial accounting, general ledger, and master records, and GL accounts, individual processing, this one, FS00. This is the path, FS00. Just to double click on FS00 and uh, give it here your company code, PM10. Then here you can take any GL number. So click on your browse. You can take any GL number. Example, I'm taking uh, commission paid. And uh, see everyone, I'm entering here GL number and company code. So click on your display. This is called display actually. Click on your display. If you click on your display, all the information will come here. All the information will come here. Then this is called change. And this is called new creation. Okay. For example, this is called change. In case if you want to change. Control tab. Create bank interest tab. Change. Okay. So now here you need to change anything. Example, I am changing some description. Commission paid account. Then click on your save. Note it on one note now. Note it on one note. Note it on one note. <coughs> Master data changes. Master data changes. Example GL, vendor, customer, asset, and profit center dot 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 etc master data changes example gl vendor customer asset profit center cost center blah 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 etc Note it down. Next line, note it down. Put the star and note it down. Before accounting entry posting, accounting entry posting means document entry posting. Please keep it on your mind. Before accounting entry posting, before accounting entry posting, system system allow to change system allow to change all master data fields all master data fields Once if you post 
accounting entry once if you post accounting entry on respective master data on respective master data system cannot allow system cannot allow to change all the fields all the fields Next line note it down, put the star and note it down. Next line note it down. Next line note it down, put the star and note it down every month. Put the star and note it down. Next line. Text related fields. Text related fields. Text related fields. System allowed to change system allowed to change before accounting entry posting and after accounting entry postings. Can anyone please read the note? Remaining people check it out. Can I read it? Yeah, sir? please go ahead. Master data changes. Example, GL, vendor, customer, profit center, cost center, assets, etc. Before document entry postings, system allowed to change all master data fields. Once if you post accounting entry or document entry on respective master data system cannot allow to change all the fields text related fields system allow to change before accounting entry postings and after accounting entry postings. posting so guys what i am trying to telling here what i am trying to tell here before document entry posting before document entry posting document entry posting means accounting entry posting before document entry posting system allowed to change any field you can you can change any fields of respective master data once if you post the accounting entry value should be reflected so system cannot allow to all the fields but text related fields you can change at any point of time okay so even after accounting entry posting, how we can change that will come different way, different uh, step. So now in this stage, you can keep it on your mind, this point. Later, we will discuss some more. Okay. So everyone, <coughs> example, example, I changed here uh, some text. I changed here some text actually. Okay. So one more step is important step. The next one, display changes display changes who changed what changed when changed 
what purpose they changed. Purpose will not tell who changed what changed. Okay, so you can uh, you can see here, uh, everyone. This is the path: SAP menu, accounting, financial accounting, general ledger, master record, and GL accounts. Then display changes and central. So here you can go to same path. I mean, and uh, here you can go to display changes and FS04. So this is the path, everyone. This is the path. SAP menu, accounting, financial accounting, general ledger, master records, GL accounts, individual, I mean, display changes, FS04. You just double click on here. You just double click on here. Enter the GL number and company code. Press enter button in the keyboard, enter and click on your all changes see here i mean date will pick as per my system okay date will pick as per my system this is my server actually it's a tool right basically so date will pick as per our system so everyone see here this is the date what field you change gl account long text so what is the old information comm paid account what is the new information, this one? Like you just double click on this line item, some more information, who, which user changed, all the details will come, date, time, everything, based on your system, okay? Yeah. Last time I given one note, everyone, during the profit center uh, time, I given one note, uh, as per the accounting terminology, deletion is a not acceptable. As per the accounting rules and risk, I mean rules and regulations, uh, deletion is not acceptable. Any anything, anything or any accounting related information, deletion is not acceptable. Okay, instead of delete, we can use block and unblock block and unblock or lock and unlock okay so how to block the gl master dot how to block the gl master dot how to unblock the gl master dot okay so the t code is called fs00 everyone it's a standard t code okay go to fs00 Go to FS00, press enter. So here, here, click on here, enter here, whatever GL number you want to block, enter that GL number and company code. Click on your display. And this is the change. This is the display. This is the new creation. And before going to block, let's check it out. Is this correct or not? It's correct or not. Let's check it out. And how to block? Very simple, everyone. Very simple. Go to GL accounts. Go to GL accounts. Click on your block here. Block. Click on your block. For example, block for the postings here. And save. Data was saved. And how to unblock? Very simple. Go to GL accounts, click on your block, remove this tick mark, and say data was saved like that. Okay. So now try to post the accounting entry before going to post the document entries or accounting entries. Anyone, any doubts? Anyone, any doubts? Sorry, in which scenario you will use uh, block and unblock the GL? Okay, yeah, madam, tell me, ma'am. Sorry. In which, in which scenario uh, you will use block and unblock the GL? Basically, example, I created one GL, madam. Example, example, commission paid. I created one GL. I used that GL. Later, after one year and after three years, I don't want commission. Now I stopped all the commission related activities. 
So I don't want to delete the GL. Instead of delete, I can block. Okay. Sir, uh, we created a GL and uh, forgot to tick mark the open item management. And we posted ah, that will come GL. later, madam. Not required. Okay. Everything okay. Won't, will come later. Don't be hurry by. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's depend upon the situation. If I tell everything now, you people can't understand. Yeah. Next question. No question. Yeah. Yeah. So everyone, now my target is. I want to post GL accounting entry posting. I want to post GL accounting entry postings. Example, example everyone. General document posting single screen FB50 or GL invoice posting, whatever, how you can call, you can call it. Then you can come down GL outgoing payment. GL outgoing payment F-07, GL incoming payment F-06, let it be everyone, consolidate here everyone, consolidate here, here I suggested some accounting entries, right, example here, your uh, GL document posting, GL document posting FB50. And uh, commission payable account data to cash. Is this incoming payment or outgoing payment? Outgoing. 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 GL outgoing payment. What is the key code? F dash. Just now I read it. Zero. Zero. Seven. Again, same way. Here a GL document posting. Here also GL document posting. And, uh, and now cash account data to commission received. Is this incoming payment or outgoing payment? Income. Incoming Income. payment. And F dash, anyone? Zero, Zero six. six. Even next one also in coming here like that. We need to post. <clears throat> Everyone. Now, everyone, concentrated everyone, very, very important everyone. Now I can ask one question. If I post any accounting entry, if I post any accounting entry, how many views? How many views? Two views, sir. Two, Two views. What is that? Entry view. Entry view and, the... and GL view. GL view. Very good, Oops. everyone. Appreciate everyone. If I post any accounting entry, how many ledgers? Ledgers. Three, three, sir. three sir. What is that? Leading uh, and non-leading non 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 Very good, very good. One leading ledger and two non-leading ledger. If I post any accounting entry, how many currency should be reflected? Three, three. sir. Three currencies, sir. How many currencies? Three, three. Three, sir. Three currencies. Hello. Very good. What local is that? Currency, group currency. Local currency. Local currency. currency. Group currency. Transaction. Good. Good, everyone. Document currency or transaction currency. Okay. Let it be. Let's post the accounting entry. Is my voice is clear, everyone? Everyone? So, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. Very good. So, now my target is, everyone, now my target is, I want to post the accounting entry. Commission paid account data to commission payable. Commission paid account data to commission payable. How we can post this accounting entry in the SAP? This is our target. Very simple, everyone. SAP, SAP is a not a rocket science. 
SAP is a lengthy process, but if you properly learn the SAP, it's a user friendly software. Okay, SAP is a beautiful, it's a user friendly software, but you people want to understand more data, more subject, consulting point of view, end user point of view, and all the things. In the real time, on the production, the production system, who will post the accounting entries, end user or consultant? End, end user, user, sir. End user, sir. Very good. Okay. Even consultant also, even consultant also, in the development system, on the quality system, they will post some accounting entries and they will test it. It is properly posting the data or not in the development system and quality system. But especially in the production system, end user will post the accounting entries and he will generate the reports. Okay. So now my target is I want to post the accounting entry expenses account data to payable. Any expenses, some XYZ expenses, expenses account data to payable. So I can ask one question, everyone. I created commission paid GL. What is the number? What is the number, everyone? Uh, maybe double four? Double zero, double zero. Double zero, double zero. And commission paid that one. Commission payable, something. Uh, anyone remember? One six? So this is called debit actually. This is the DR debit and this is the CR credit. Like this, I want to post. <clears throat> Everyone, let it be. Let's post the accounting entry. I want to post this accounting entry. Let's check it out. Everyone, I will tell you one thing. If your configuration is good, if you are everything configuration is good, then only accounting entry will going to post. In case something, if you miss anything, if you miss any configuration, accounting entry cannot post. System will throw the error message. Something you are miss, so and so you are miss, go and configure. Testing means what? Testing means what? Testing means accounting entry postings. Testing means to generate the reports. Your configuration good or not good. How we can test? We will post some accounting entries. Then we will generate the reports. If your accounting entry is properly posting, your report is properly coming, then good. Are you agree or not? Anyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, very good. Very good. Let it be. Let's post this one, everyone. Let's post the accounting entry. Okay. Let it be, everyone. Concentrate it, everyone. So now my target is go to SAP menu, accounting, financial accounting, general ledger, document entry, this one, FB50. FB 50. This is the one, everyone. SAP menu, accounting, financial accounting, general ledger, document entry, FB 50, GL accounting document. So you just double click on this. You just double click on this. And uh, here you can enter document date and posting date. Document date and posting. Sir, what is the difference between document date and posting date? Everyone, concentrate everyone. Document date means whatever date available on physical document on invoice, physical document, that date is called document date. Posting date means that document information when you are posting into the system, that is called posting date. 
I'm repeating once again, everyone. Concentrate here, my dear students. Please concentrate here. Very important, everyone. What is the difference between document date and posting date? For example, I want to post uh, invoice posting or I want to post payment receipt posting, payment posting. Based on the documents only, we can post. Based on the words, overall, I mean, uh, normal words, we can. We can check the proofs, actually. We can check the proofs, document, signature, and that type of things, we will check it out. Uh, stamp, seal, like that. Accountant will verify all the things. So what is meant by document date? Document date means whatever date available on the physical document, that date you want to take. Posting date means that information when you are posting into the system. That is called posting date. Then currency. Currency means whatever currency you are specified into this field that currency is called transactional currency or document currency example i am taking inr okay the next one reference gl posting gl posting the now this is called line item this is called line item example this is called debit and credit so what is the debit? Debit is commission paid. Guys, I'm repeating one second, everyone. Before going to entering this information, before going to entering this information, let's check it out your company code, everyone. Is this your company code? No. no. no IM10 is not your company code. Before entering all the information, first you can check the company code. GL accounting document company code IM10. It's not your company code. So how to switch the company code? Here, 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 everyone. Click on here, switch company code. Give it here your company code, PM10. And over here. Now it's came your company code. Okay, now you can enter document date, posting date, whatever date you want. And the reference GL posting, now uh, debit and credit. So what is the debit? Commission paid is the debit. And uh, commission payable is the credit. So what is the GL number, everyone? Double four, double zero. Anyone? Double, double zero. zero. Double zero. Commission payable, one six, six double, double zero, 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 one. zero one. You want to ask one question, sir. I am unable to remember this number. What can I do? I am unable to remember this number. What can I do? Very simple, everyone. Click on this browse button here. This one, this one, this button. Or F4. Press F4. Or click on your browse. And check your company code. And the GL account number. Press enter button in the keyboard. Enter. So all the GLs will come, whatever GLs you create. So for example, I want commission paid, this one, double four, double zero, double zero. And credit, if you know the GL number, you can enter. Otherwise, you can click on your browse and pick. Example, I'm picking one six, triple zero, one. And uh, amount is called one lakh, one lakh and one lakh, one lakh. And uh, use the tab button, tab button in the keyboard. Tab, 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 use the tab button in the keyboard. Next, next, next. Here you want to enter your business area. Here you want to enter your business area. So this commission paid is belongs to which business area? So click on your browse. What is your business area, everyone? Did you remember? Hyderabad business area, Pune business, something we created. Yes or no? Hyderabad. PM HY. PM something we created, na? PM HY. PM HY. Yeah. Okay. PM HY. 
in case sir i am unable to remember what can i do click on browse you can pick so all the one is there pm use page down button in the keyboard page down and page up pm 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 hb sorry pm hb pm HB. hyderabad business area pm hb then use tap 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 again tap 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 again and here you can enter profit center what is our profit center pm 100 200 something we created so click on your browse and uh, give it here your controlling area pm ca and press enter so here pm 100 pm 200 300 400 like that which one you want i am taking pm 100 segment will pick automatically why because during the profit center creation we assign the segment so not required to specify the segment segment will pick automatically so i am repeating one second everyone come to this t code fb50 so first you can check your company code otherwise switch on the company code then document date posting date currency then reference then debit gl and credit gl and the amount then you can enter business area and profit center then press enter button in the keyboard press enter enter press enter button in the keyboard and uh, the text will pick everything commission paid account data to payable click on your simulate if your configuration is good then it will post in case something if you miss any configuration system will throw out the error message okay note it down everyone note it down one note note it down one note post put the heading of posting key and note it down posting key and note it down 40 means debit 50 means credit posting keys 40 40 40 means debit 50 means credit now everyone concentrate here click on your post here here simulate and click on your post so it will checking all the configuration everyone See here everyone document number one zero 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 was posted into the company code i can ask one question this document number picking from where number number, 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 number ranges document number type and number ranges very good and go to document and display display i will tell you i can ask some questions and uh, here it is showing here it is showing physical year and like uh, month physical year and month why it is picking three why it's three june month posting june month. Posting april is first may second june is third third so this year and period picking from where from physical the year, 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 year variance sir physical year variance very good very good okay and uh, gl masters we created and profit center and segment whatever do one thing everyone this is the entry view this is an entry view then if you click on general ledger view click on your general ledger view and uh, see here this is the one general ledger view 
Now it is showing 0L. Now it is showing 0L. Let's see here. This is the value in 0L. And uh, do one thing, everyone. Go to other ledgers. Go to other ledger. P7 and P8. IFRS and US gap. So double click on P7. Now this accounting entry updated in P7. See, I'll check the ledger. And go to other ledgers. P8. It's a P8. And other ledger. 0L. 0L. Now it's in chain review. And do one thing, everyone. Go to display currencies. Display currencies. How many currencies here? Document currency, local currency, and group currency. Example, I'm selecting group currency. Click on here. OK. See here, USD. Here, USD. And go to display currency and local currency. OK. INR. And display currency and document currency also INR. Document currency also INR. And example, I want to see one accounting entry will reflect a business area, profit center. What is the parameters? What is the parameters? Our active splitting, active splitting parameters. Uh, business area, business profit, area segment. Profit, profit center, center and segment. segment. See here, profit center and segment. Sir, where is the business area? I am unable to see the business area. So how I can see that? Business area is not there. Means it's hide mode. How to unhide? Everyone, concentrate here. You can check. Go to right. So here, profit center is updated. Here, segment is updated. Even business area also updated, but it's on a hide mode. How to unhide? Very simple, everyone. Very simple. Go to, I mean, change layout, actually. Here, 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 here. There is a small button here. Click on the small button and click on here, change layout. And now here you can select the business area, select the business area, move to right side and click on here. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, so this is the commission paid account data to commission payable amount is one lakh. And this commission paid and commission payable be belongs to this profit center, this business area, and this segment. Okay. The next one. Next one. Everyone. Concentrate it, everyone. Next one. I want to post GL outgoing payment. Now I can ask one question, everyone. Now I can ask one question. What is mean by passive splitting? Passive splitting, Bolito? Anyone? Whatever, whatever uh, business at, uh, parameters you entered during the accounting entry, it will auto pick in uh, payment during the payment. Okay, good. Any others? Very good, Aslam. Any others? Any others? Uh, at the time of accounting entry posting, the whatever parameters uh, we have defined uh, will get automatically posted. Which accounting entry? Uh, uh, Sir, so under related. Payment accounting entry. During the payment. Yeah, payment. During the payment accounting entry. Accounting entry means all the accounting entries will come. Payment accounting entry. Okay. Even go and check it out our previous classes. Okay. Uh, passive splitting. And everyone, now uh, I'm going F-07. Let it be. All the business area, profit center and segment will pick automatically. You are not required to specify. You are not required to specify that parameters. That will pick automatically whatever parameter you updated into the invoice. <clears throat> Let it be. Let's come to this part, everyone. Come to this part. SAP menu, accounting, 
financial accounting, general ledger, document entry, here incoming payment. Here you need to take incoming payment. So you just double click on, in, sorry, outgoing payment, right? Sorry, outgoing payment. So you just double click on out, outgoing or incoming, anyone? Outgoing, sir. Outgoing. So double click on outgoing payment. And uh, as usual, document date, posting date, whatever date you want. Document type, yes, SA. yes, SA. Then check the company code, then period, then currency. Then here, document number will pick automatically. You are not required to enter the number. Then here, GL payment or GL postings, whatever. A payment, whatever. Anything you can enter. You can. Then in case if you want to write any narration, you can write it. Being GL payment, whatever. Narration. Okay. Then now here, bank data account. Bank data account. Here you want to take, what is the accounting entry here, my dear student? Commission payable account data to cash. So commission payable, what is the number? Anyone? One six double zero 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 one one. What is the cash number? Anyone? Uh, double maybe? two double zero double two double zero double zero. This one. These two GLs need to be cash. Here, uh, DR, debit. DR boleto, 40. 40 means debit. CR, credit. Credit boleto, 50. 40 and 50. <coughs> this is the one. Okay. Like this. <coughs> everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Concentrate here. I'm, I came F dash 07. You can take document date, posting date, document type, SCA, and month, uh, company code, currency, then uh, GL payment, maybe incoming payment or outgoing payment, anyone. You can take any. Now, bank data account means here you want to take any cash or bank GL. You can take cash or bank GL. So, what is our cash GL? Double two, double zero, double zero. Sir, I am unable to remember, sir. What can I do? So click on your browse and uh, press enter. I need to take cash account. Double two, double zero, double zero. Then amount. Amount is called one lakh. One lakh. Then uh, use tap, 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 tap. Here open item selection. Open item account commission payable is a open item selection. So click on your browse and uh, press enter 160001. So this is the details you want to select. <clears throat> Everyone, I will ask one question What is the short name of GL? GL 001. No. G001. No, madam. What is the short name of customer? 01. We are called as accounting type also. GL. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, to GL. D boleto customer accounting type. Vendor boleto? K. K. And uh, asset boleto? A. 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 I explained during the posting period uh, something. That time I explained. For example, here it is showing accounting type. Yes. Yes boleto GL. So everyone, concentrated everyone. I am repeating once again. Uh, document date, posting date, document type, month, uh, company code, currency, then reference. Then here you can take cash GL, cash GL, amount, then open item selection, open item GL. Then click on your process open item, here, here, click on your process open item. 
So my invoice value, my invoice value one lakh, my payment value also one lakh. Finally, it's become zero. And go to document, click on your simulate. 40 means debit, 50 means credit. Commission payable account data to cash and post. Go to document and display. And this is entry view and general ledger view. And uh, here uh, profit center and business area segment. So business area, it's hide mode. How to unhide? Anyone tell me? Go to change layout. Change oh, layout. Very good. Yeah. Small button it's showing now. Choose layout and change layout. And select the business area. Move to right side. So during passive splitting, Bolito, during the payment accounting entry posting, you are not required to select the parameters. All the parameters means business area, profit center, segment will update automatically. And uh, these other ledgers, 0L, P7, and PH. And uh, display currencies. Okay. Note it on one note, everyone. Note it on one note. Note it on one note, everyone. Note it on one note. The difference between difference between leading ledger and non-leading ledger. Sorry, Hare Krishna. Sorry, everyone. The difference between Entry view and general ledger view. Difference between entry view and general ledger view. This is your homework, everyone. Analyze today and tell me tomorrow. Difference between entry view and general ledger view. Analyze today and tell me tomorrow. Okay. And the next postings, everyone, let it be. Next posting, I want to post this. Commission receivable account data to commission received. Commission receivable account data to commission received. Let's post this for more understanding. Okay. So let it be every uh, before going to this, any doubts? Anyone, any doubts? Time to ask the doubts. Sorry, number ranges. <laughs> How many questions, madam? <laughs> okay, go ahead, go ahead. Just kidding. Uh, for P7, uh, you gave 98, sir. Ah, madam ji, sorry, sorry. Sir, P7, you maintained 98 standard. Huh, I can ask that question, ma'am. When the 98 will reflect it? I can ask same question to you also, madam. When the 98 will reflect it? Non-leading non ledger. Okay. Non-leading uh, non ledger. Non-leading ledger. Uh, correct answer. Anyone Anyone can give me correct answer? When the, uh, see, Manjula ma'am question is, we created number range 98 and 99. Maybe that time Manjula ma'am is not here. She so doing other work. Now you can tell me. Anyone? Non-local uh, accounting or uh, if it is... Other... Let, let it be. Manjula, ma'am, only tell. Tell me, ma'am, when the 98 will reflect it, when the 99 will reflect it. Sir, if uh, leading ledger is not uh, maintained sir, at the time, P7... And... Go and analyze existing class, madam. Okay? Otherwise, wait one day. Wait wait some time. It's, it's uh, actually... I'm not feeling happy, ma'am, this question. I already explained. When the 98 and 99 will reflect it, but again you are asking same question. I'm not feeling happy. Please analyze existing class. Otherwise, please wait one hour or next class. That will come. Okay, ma'am. Okay. okay. So I already given the note. Also, I'm believing when the 98 and 99 will reflect it. When the one zero will reflect it. Yeah. 
some fields are actually hiding no so every time we have to go and unhide or uh, you now, can you if you want to see you can unhide otherwise keep it as it is it will update actually okay yeah it is updating but uh, every if you time want to see you can unhide what is okay. I think SA, SA is the 98. Ah, Venkat sir, tell me. SA, SA is 98. No, no, no. You want to also check existing. Otherwise, Whenever we want to post only ah, uh, non-leading ledger. Very good. At the time, we, it will be uh, document entry should be mm, good, 98. Good, good as gap. Very good. Appreciate it. Yeah. Everyone, now I want to post the accounting entry. Everyone, so uh, blindly don't uh, ask any. Please uh, watch, uh, please practice the classes. Why you are asking uh, again and again same similar doubts means you are not practicing. <laughs> it's I'm giving direct statement. Why you are asking, say even I already explained why you are asking again means you, I mean, I'm not focusing anyone. I'm telling everyone, okay? Don't feel bad, everyone. So you people are not, some people are not practicing. Not everyone, some people. 90% of people is practicing. I feel very happy for that. Even some people posting the screenshots in groups. Some people posting the screenshot in one-to-one. -one. I feel very happy. You are the nice batch. Even 10% of people also, I'm requesting. So please practice. Okay, if you are not practice, you people forgot everything is become zero again and again. Okay, I'm sincerely requesting every student. Okay, so please practice and please analyze. At least please analyze after the class. Please do analyze. Okay, example number in this. Analyze document after the class. At least every day, half an hour or one hour, you can practice and half an hour you can analyze. You can Google it. You can use chat GPT. You can analyze other search engines. You can contact your senior students. You can meet them. Then you can take some suggestions. Like that. Okay. So just listening the class, that there is a no use. Okay. Will you say yes, no? Will you practice today onwards? Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, please everyone. Okay. Yeah. So let it be. Let's post the accounting entry. Um, yeah. So everyone, concentrate here, everyone. The next is GL document posting. Again, now I want to post commission receivable. Commission receivable account data to commission received. So I want to post this accounting entry. So commission receivable. What is the number, everyone? What is the number? Remembering receivable number? Not remember? Okay. So double. Uh, uh, tell me. Okay. Okay. Let it be. We can check during the accounting entry. So your uh, DR. DR bullet to debit. Debit boleto 40. And uh, here CR, CR boleto 50. 50 bullet. 50 means credit. 40 means debit. Okay. So I want to post this accounting enter. Where sir, you will post? Ah. 25000, sir. Ah, yes, madam. Thank you, madam. In the, tell me, ma'am, once again. 25. Double zero, sir. double zero, double zero. Very good, madam. Thank you, madam. Commission received, madam. Maybe three two now, ma'am. Three two we create. Three two double zero double. Zero. Three two double zero double zero. Very good, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. <clears throat> so this is the one. This is I want to post. So how to post? Very simple. Go to FB fifteen. So everyone, let's go back and. Uh, I'm using go to through T code instead of path. Go to FB50, press enter, press enter. So 
CL document entry posting, document date, posting date, whatever date you want. Then here you can take debit and credit. And uh, debit is, what is the debit here? Debit is commission receivable. Credit is commission received, okay? So here, click on the browse. Let's take the GL and uh, press enter. Uh, commission receivable two five double zero double zero, and credit is uh, mm, press enter. Uh, received three two double zero double zero. Example amount is one lakh and one lakh and use tap 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 business area tap 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 use the tap button in the keyboard tap tap profit center press enter button in the keyboard enter then simulate then post go to document and display go to document and display Party means debit, 50 means credit. Receive a bull account data to received. Okay, as usual, entry view, general ledger view, and uh, display currencies and uh, other ledgers. And uh, you can verify with all the parameters also. Come to right side in case profit center and segment. Even uh, even business area also update. Go to change layout and change layout. In case if you want to see, let's see business area and, and click on your simulated be save. Okay. Business area profit center and save like this. The next one. next everyone the next one i want to post incoming payment gl incoming payment cash account data to commission receivable so cash is um cash is double two double zero double g receivable is two five double zero double zero so it's a dr dr bolito debit uh 40 and cr cr bolito 50. this is the one i want to post everyone concentrated everyone so now my target is my invoice value is one lakh my payment value is seventy five thousand. My payment value is 75,000. Okay. So how to post this? In the above scenario, above scenario, my invoice value is 1 lakh. My payment value is 1 lakh. The value is 0. I will show you the reports. But here, here my invoice value is, everyone, my invoice value is 1 lakh. My payment value is 75,000. Maybe incoming payment or maybe outgoing payment is a different anything. Okay. So let's post. How to post? What is the T code? F dash 06. Are you following everyone? Yes. Yes. Sir. yes. Yeah. <coughs> so everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Uh, go to f dash 06 otherwise go to path also what is the path anyone try try everyone tell me the path right anyone please sap menu accounting accounting financial accounting financial accounting general ledger general ledger document entry document and very good yeah. now appreciate so here incoming payment f dash 06 you just double click on uh, f dash 06 incoming payment so as usual you can enter document date posting date whatever 
So you can I can take document date, posting date, document type SCA, then currency here, GL payment. So bank data account means here you need to take cash or bank related GLs. Cash GL double two double zero double zero. Then amount is how much? Seventy five thousand. Seventy five thousand. I'm paying seven, so whatever paying or receiving whatever seventy five thousand. And tap 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 tap. Here you can take account. Uh, open item. Receive a bull. Open item. Here cash account. Here you want to take open item. Here you want to take. Okay, seventy five thousand. We are doing the payment. This is the document date, posting date, document type, month, the company code, currency like that. Go to document and display. Go to document and simulate. Sorry, go to document and simulate. Or before going to simulate, you want to do one thing. Everyone, concentrate here. Everyone. Click on here, process open item. Simply what some people do, go to document and simulate and post. No, don't do like that. And during the invoice, that's fine. But during the payment posting, you need to verify the invoice. Click on here, process open item. Everyone, concentrate here, everyone. My invoice value is 1 lakh. My invoice value is 1 lakh. Here, my invoice value is 1 lakh. My payment value is 75,000. My pending amount is 25,000. Guys, if you are doing full and final payment, if you are doing full and final payment, now you need to select scan date. If you are doing partial payment, so which tab I want to go? Here, here, partial payment. If you are doing full and final, then you are in standard. If you are doing partial, select your partial payment. Click on your partial payment. And uh, this is the invoice value. And this is the payment value. I'm, am I doing one lakh? No, right? So double click on the payment value field. You just double click on here. Like this. This is the invoice value. This is the payment value. Okay, and go to document the partial payment I'm doing. Go to document and simulate and post. Go to document and display. Party means debit, 50 means credit. Entry view, general ledger view and uh, other ledgers and the currencies whatever you need to check you can check it out in the later everyone concentrate here everyone concentrate here note it down one t code everyone note it down one t code note it down one t code fbl 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 3N, GL, GL, line item, display, FBL, 3N, GL, line item, display. Let it be everyone, let it be concentrated everyone. In my commission receivable, my commission receivable, my invoice value is called one lakh. Invoice value is called one lakh. 
and my payment value is called 75000 75000 if i see the report how much value how much outstanding want to come 25000 25000 25, want to come 25000 want to come so where i want to check t code is called fbl 3n okay let's check it out go to everyone t code is called fbl 3n press enter button in the keyboard then here you can check the GL example commission receivable. Commission receivable. Then company code. Click on your open item. Open item means outstanding. How much outstanding is our example? Example outstanding. And click on your execute here. Select your GL number, company code, and open items. Then click on your execute. See here, everyone. My invoice value one lakh. Payment value seventy five thousand. Still twenty five thousand is pending. All are open items. Still, it is not clear. It's not a clear item. Select here all items. All items then execute. Our open item was the same, all items and execute. Do one thing, everyone. Do one thing. Concentrate here, everyone. Do one thing. In first scenario, in first scenario, commission payable. One lakh invoice and one lakh payment. Value is zero. One lakh invoice and one lakh payment. One lakh minus one lakh, zero. Clear. It's a clear action. It's a clear. Do one thing here. Uh, here you can take payable. Payable. And company code. Example all items, then execute. All are showing one lakh payment and one lakh is zero. It's a cleared item actually. You can select all items, otherwise, cleared item. Execute. It's zero green. It's a clear. If you select open item, if you select open items, then execute. There is a no open items. All are cleared. Select all items, then execute. There is a no clear open item. There is a no outstanding amount. All are clear. Got it, everyone. Select all items, then execute for both. You will get the information. Understood, guys, what I'm telling? Yes, no, okay. Yes, sir. Yes. And note it on one more T code, everyone. Note it on one more T code. Note it on one more T code. T code is called uh, FB03. Display, display document, document bulletin, document. Accounting. Accounting, entry. Accounting, accounting entry, accounting entry, yeah, FB03, display accounting entry, go to FB03, Press enter. Then uh, here I'm giving just a company code and fiscal year, document list, then execute. Press enter, enter. So all the accounting entries will come, whatever you posted. If you double click on line item, this is the accounting entry. Go back, double click on second one. This is the accounting. Double click on third one. Then fourth one like this. 
in case everyone in case if you want to see only specific accounting entry example go to fb03 enter if you want to see specific accounting entry enter that uh, accounting entry i mean document entry number document number company code and fiscal year document number company code and fiscal year press enter enter it will come specific document entry no sir i don't want to specific i want to see all then don't enter document number simply you can enter company code and fiscal year click on your document list and execute press enter all the all will come so you can double click and see even here you can see the change layout also change layout what information you want even you can see all the example username move to right side click on ok means who posted this accounting entry sap user in the real time your name will come who posted this accounting entries your username will come okay let's post one more accounting entry one more accounting entry gl incoming payment remaining 25000 remaining 25000 you can post and uh, go to f-06 f-06 press enter as usual document date posting date document type sca here which gl i want to take here respond cash cash amount 25000 here which gl i want to take here commission commission receivable receivable, receivable. receivable. And click on your process open item, full and final, full and final. I'm doing full and final. My invoice value is one lakh. My payment value is 75. My pending amount is 25,000. I'm doing full and final payment. The value is zero. And go to document, simulate, and uh, post document and display. Do one thing, everyone. Let's go to FBL 3N and uh, let's take the receivable now. Receivable, all items, then execute. Finally, it's zero. Cleared. So if you select open item, then click on your execute no open item everything is cleared if you select cleared item then execute cleared items for example all items means both will come open items and cleared item both will come if you select all items better you can select all items and execute let's analyze the report clear so far Thanks everyone. Thanks for joining. Let's meet tomorrow in case of any doubts. Let's practice and we will discuss tomorrow. Bye everyone. Yeah, bye. Thank you. Bye, sir. Bye. Everyone.